Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours for you. So January 22nd to the 24th. So let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell so that you never miss a beat. And if you would like a personal, check out the description box, okay? All right, Aquarius, the next 72 hours for them. It's the energy surrounding them. Okay, so we have the temperance card in reverse as the overall energy. Your current energy is the seven of cups. The challenge is the five of pentacles. Advice from spirit is the five of wands. And then the outcome of this time frame is the hermit card. Energy surrounding my Aquarius for the next 72 hours. Okay, so we have peace. Okay. And we have conclusions are within reach. So let's talk about this. So first card we're going to address is the temperance card in reverse. Um, so for this being the overall energy, this could be a Sagittarius in specifics who could be affecting your um, ability to kind of function during this time frame. Um, or for some of you guys, it doesn't even have anything to do with the Sagittarius per se, like the Zodiac sign. There could just be an issue between you and another person where emotionally you guys may not be meshing well. Okay. This could be somebody romantic, um, coworker, roommate. This is where emotionally you guys are just not meshing well. And this could be causing a lot of stress. Okay. Some of you guys also are just really getting sick and tired of being patient. Um, there could be something that just feels like it's being very drawn out and delayed. And this could be stressing you out and almost making you feel very annoyed. So, um, yeah, this could be a problem where it's like you, you've been you've been overly patient when it comes to something. And you could be just feeling like, dang, why do I need to keep being patient? And also some of you guys could be having a hard time keeping it together emotionally. Some days you could feel emotionally not in tune. Now, speaking of that, the current energy that you're in, we do have the seven of cups. So this could be a level of confusion. Um, emotionally, you could have days where you feel really good. And then other days where emotionally you feel very like confused, lost, second guessing yourself, um, feeling energetically drained by someone. Um, then the, the next day you realize who you are. It's like you may go through a range of emotions. Um, and this could be a problem. Also for some of you guys, you could just be confused or having a level of not knowing which direction to go in, in terms of your love life. This is also feeling emotionally like, like you're getting some mixed signals from someone specifically. And this could also be making you feel like, well, what the hell? Um, in terms of career, some of you guys don't know what direction to go in, like what is really going to ultimately make you happy. And you could be having a level of confusion with that. But the challenge, I do have the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles is like some of you guys having abandonment issues. You may have been ghosted in the past or even this person recently, somebody may have ghosted you and this may have really affected you. Um, like self-esteem wise or mental health wise um, for others of you this is more of um, like financial issues you could be like trying to recover from that and that could be a little bit of a challenge some of you it's just more of your mindset you may have more of a poverty mindset where it's like with money like your your handling of it may not be right or what's keeping you from success may be second guessing yourself which is stemming from a poverty mindset of like not feeling as if you're worthy enough or really like aligning with that vibration of wealth truly. And again, this could just be a, that ghosting or leaving somebody behind may be a little difficult for some of you guys. 
Now, when it comes to the advice from spirit, I do have the five of wands. So this is making sense of your internal confliction. Okay. What are you going to do? Are you going to give somebody a second chance? Are you not? Are you going to go in this creative direction? Are you not? Like I'm seeing creative confusion. I'm seeing confliction in terms of career confliction in terms of somebody specific. Um, I see arguing and fighting. That's unnecessary. I see somebody having a whole bunch of options and somebody feeling like they have to compete for somebody's love. So all of this needs to kind of be sorted out. Okay. Now the outcome of this time frame, I do have the hermit card. So this is you going into a space of introspection. This is really digging deep in and looking at the truth in terms of what's internally going on with you and what's the best plan of action. Um, this is you really taking some time to be by yourself as well. You may not be socializing as much during this time frame. Um, but yeah, this is going into a space of introspection to, to really dig deep and deal with aspects of yourself that you've been trying to bury and not really deal with. Now, when it comes to the rest of the energy, we do have conclusions are within reach. So this is letting you know during this time frame, whatever things have been kind of like on a tightrope and you've been confused and all these things, conclusions are going to be reached and you're going to know exactly what to do. And then we also have peace. So this is you guys needing to center yourself. And this peace of mind is going to come from really being with self. Okay. Really being with self really taking time to, to quiet your mind as well. And I think that's going to be ultimately the outcome of this time frame is you getting a peace of mind because some of you were really just coasting and not really addressing what's going on like below the surface. So interesting. This is what I see. I hope that you were able to take something from this reading. If you did, thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out the description if you want a personal reading. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.